Welcome, combatants, to another day in the arena. It's your boy James, aka Neural Ned Games, and today I'm bringing you my Magecraft Cobra deck. Why do I call it Magecraft Cobra? Because it strikes so fast out of nowhere. You're gonna see a sick game today where I get land flooded, and then I'm playing an Azorius control deck, and it they play more faithful mendings than you've ever seen played in your life. And with one lean in light scribe, I do crazy, crazy things. Probably one of my favorite games of all time. This deck is so ridiculous. It hits so hard. There's a turn four kill in here as well. Like these games are just unreal. You're going to watch this deck and be like, Wow, this is impressive. This deck is so fun to play and it takes a lot of skill too. You've got to be quite patient with it because you can get caught, but it draws an insane amount of cards. I'm going to show you the sideboard here and we'll talk about it. It's pumped full of teachings of the archaics and normally a magecraft deck like this is too risky to play, but I've crafted this one so it's not nearly as risky and it hits so flipping hard. Okay, let's get started with the deck tech, but before that, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn on notifications, hit that little bell so that when I put out these really cool decks, you're notified right away. I'm working hard, I'm testing these decks, I'm playing them in ranked and testing them in ranked and testing new decks in ranked is always, <laughs> it's, it's tough. Anyways, okay, let's get to it. So we have four Clever Lumamancers, and whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, Clever Lumamancer gets plus two, plus two. These guys get wildly out of control. Then we have Guiding Voices. We get to put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, and then we learn, and we almost always go and grab Teachings of the Archaics. Four Homestead Courages. Synergizes hugely with the Clever Lumamancer and with our Leonin Light Scribe and is super good with our Storm Chaser Drake. And this is why I created this deck is this card right here, because it allows you to pump up. Like normally if you play a card like Guiding Voice or Homestead Courage or something along those lines, show confidence, you sometimes get caught in a, in the trap of, you know, playing your cards out and then losing it to a Fading Hope or a Kill Spell or something. And there's still some of that risk, but playing it on Storm Chaser Drake negates a lot of that risk because you just keep filling up your hand as you pump it up. So even if it dies, it was still fine because your opponent had to use cards and you're just constantly refilling your hand in this deck. Like I think I'm pretty sure I outdrew the Azorius control deck and I think I was like 30 cards deep or something like that. Anyways, next, Fading Hope. This is so good because what you want to do when you're pumping up these creatures, when you see shields are down, like this is the ultimate destroy when the shields are down. The shields go down and you just strike like a cobra and you annihilate them. Annihilate them. Anyways, we got four Fading Hopes and four Unsummons to keep the board clear. This also helps us in the early game to stay alive because this deck, you have to be pretty crafty. There's a decent amount of control in here. It's almost like maybe close to tempo or something where you're just outvaluing your opponent and um, keeping them under wraps at the same time, bouncing their hand full. And having all these bounce spells like this is amazing because you're playing out your hand, you're filling up your hand, and you've got teachings of the archaics, and you're playing teachings of the archaics and pumping things up. You got one or two of these guys out. You get to draw a ton of cards. You get to pump things up. You clear their board. You make your guys tougher. And all of a sudden, they've got four guys out. Like, I just, oh, man, you got to see this game. I play a game against a cleric life game, uh, life game deck. <laughs> the person is so tilted, so flipping tilted. Lean in Light Scribe just pumps everybody up. Show of Confidence is so good, too, because we have so many cheap spells we can clear their board with the Fading Hopes and then play a show of confidence. Like with four mana, we can clear two creatures out, pump up our entire board, and then this copies three times and then it pumps up our board even more. Like you're looking like, you know, plus 10 to your board if you have one or two of these guys out. And oh man, it's wildly out of control. Then we have Spectral Adversary. And this card is just great for keeping your creatures alive, you know, bringing somebody in 
like bringing the spectral adversary in on the end step of your opponent's turn so that next turn you can do more stuff with them storm chaser drake so good in the right deck i think it's a fairly narrow card like it's quite a narrow card but in the right applications it's really cool and how about that art that is legit i love that art it is so cool and then we got a couple divide by zeros again so we can go here and then we've got the finisher. And lots of times you don't even need Leer. This is almost like too much, let's call it. <laughs> Leer just allows you to cast all this stuff again. I mean, and your teachings of the archaics again. I don't know if there's a better card draw engine out there than this deck. Like, it's unreal how you can pump up your board and clear the board and draw cards all at the same time it's just man this deck i love it so much i think it's probably my new favorite deck to play i'm going to be playing it a lot on ladder because it's so damn good okay then we have you know just some lands i have no man lands in here um you can throw in you could throw in maybe like a cave of the frost dragon or something along those lines i just i don't know i i didn't want to throw in man lands i don't want to throw in man lands every time i don't know why I just don't feel like it. Anyways, because, I mean, I don't think you're going to use them a lot. Mostly, you're going to keep your mana open for dividing, for unsummoning, and for pumping up your board. So I don't really think they're necessary. If you want, go ahead, throw them in. They're totally fine. Anyways, that, oh, here, let's quickly talk about this. One, environmental sciences, just in case. Again, teachings to draw cards, and two, expanded anatomies. Just because, like, playing this card in this setup with Lumenmancers and Leon and Light Scribes is, is really, really good. And you can draw more cards if you put it on the Storm Chaser Drake too, right? Pump it up and draw cards. It's just so fun. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you like the deck. Thank you so much for watching. And let's get to it. Okay, we're on the draw. <laughs> um, this is a pretty bad hand, but I... I'm going to keep it because I'm on the draw. I'm going to keep it because I'm on the draw. That is not the card we're looking for here. Okay, we got, what, mono white? Okay, yeah, no problems there. Not going to get too crazy here. There's lots of answers for that kind of stuff. We just need one more white and we are so good. Guiding voice to learn and get a card on this is just so good uh angel spells cost two less to cast okay um i am so tempted just to start unsummoning my storm chaser drake neither of these have flying you know what we're gonna do though we're actually gonna unsummon this fool because i don't want some big angels coming out Okay. Yay! <laughs> uh, I could lean in first. I think I'm gonna lean in first. Hope they don't have any removal. What do I do though? Um, do I keep this Starnheim guy? Yeah. I think, yeah, I'm going to go like this. What do they play? What's a big angel for five? I mean, we can always just fading hope it back in, right? That's fine. Okay. They get a Righteous Valkyrie for one. It's pretty good. I guess if they get two Righteous Valkyries, I'm not very happy here, am I? Okay, they get a Voice of the Blessed. That's fine. Right. Still okay. Hmm, I think we're going to go like this, right? You put you back in hand. 
kind of really want land right now. I'm going to be doing other things other than that. Uh, I am not going to block still, though. Yeah, we really need some land here. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go Guiding Voice into our Storm Chaser Drake here. <clears throat> Hmm, I did draw another land. It's not a white land, so I think we'll go teachings here. And then uh, we're pretty close to Lear. I could go another Storm Chaser Drake. One, two, three, four, five. Or I could just teachings. Am I going to die if I teachings though? Do I need to keep this? I probably need to keep this Fading Hope up. And I think we'll just rip that Starnheim Aspirant back in, maybe, and pump up again here. And we can attack with our Leon in as well. <clears throat> Homestead Kurds is not bad, but I want another land for Lear. We put nine on them. We just have so much gas with this build. It's crazy with teachings and guiding voice and learning and oh man. And the Storm Chaser Drake drawing his cards and then Lear being able to get all this stuff back again. <sighs> crazy town. Absolute crazy town. <laughs> yeah, they're quite they've got a big decision now, right? We are 13 cards in with four lands. Just need that one more land. Well, really, we need two. Depending on how things go, we may gamble on Leer, especially against this deck that has probably very little removal. But I can double spell here, so they got a big decision to make. Yeah, they go for that again. They're probably going to attack, at least with one, I would say. Okay, I think that's pretty foolish of them, considering that I've shown them that many fading hopes. Like, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so teachings first. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I play Guiding Voice first, I'll still have the extra card. Doesn't matter. Ooh, Unsummon is the game. That is the game, but we can't quite get there, unfortunately. We're still going to get there. Doesn't matter. Boom. <laughs> Game one. Done. <laughs> okay, it's better. It, when you have this many lands, I think I probably only have about a 30% chance or less of drawing a land. Um, what do we want to make? Let's make them think we're blue, just maybe to slow them down on turn one or two. I mean, we are blue, but okay. So they just get that. Uh, maybe they have a portable hole, but that's okay. And portable hole. Ooh, no portable hole. That's a Christmas miracle. Ooh. <laughs> so let's make sure it only taps the white here, right? This could be a very fast game. If I can get something else, man. The Skyclave. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want a Fading Help it? See who they pick, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because without two, I can't do really as much as I need to. I guess Clever Lumancer's okay. Makes us a little bit slow, but... We're not going to attack. They will trade Skyclave there. I 
if we can just pull a storm chaser drake or something along those lines this will do absolutely nothing to us we have no snow um yeah no blocks it's okay we go to 11 that's really bad for us that's really really bad for us we have to just sit back We can decimate their board, though, when they attack now. So they're going to be real careful. Like, this clever loom master becomes a 5-6 with this, I believe. Plus 2, plus 4, 4, 5, 5, 6. Hmm, do I save it for when Adeline? No, because I, I, yeah. Whee! <laughs> Ooh, we get a storm chaser. We don't have a lot to do with it, though. We're going to hold the land. To fake them out. We're going to make them think we're thinking about it. They're going to be a little wary. If only we just hadn't pulled quite so many lands. This is actually a pretty good hand. That puts us at 8. That puts us at 9. So I guess we are blocking, right? They have 9 damage on board. So we go here. And we just go here. Oh, it's flying right into, I guess we just do that then. So that puts us at seven. We have options here still. A lot can still be done with this board. Not that way though. That's okay. It just did land. I mean, seven lands out of you know, 13 cards. You're never going to be able to win, and I didn't really get what I needed going. Okay, we are on the play. Pretty good hand. We're going to go clever Lumimancer here. We can homestead courage twice and unsummon something. It's pretty good. Slow them right down. No cards to exile. Okay, some more land, right? That's gonna put him. That's gonna put him in a pretty big hole. <laughs> now we just need something to learn a little bit to get some cards back, and that's the power of this deck. We just need to learn a little bit. We can always spectral adversary here too. I think that's the play. Is spectral adversary with a counter? We can always. Uh, Phase something out here too to block, right? To like stop them from targeting something. Okay, I guess I'm playing it now. They get the storm chaser, which can't actually stop us from casting it. Okay, so here.
Okay, we're down to one. One spell or something along those lines. We're probably pretty good. Good game. That's how it's done. A little bit of learning here sure would be nice, though. Whew. <laughs> that was deadly. Okay, we're on the play. Yep, that's good. Learning is good. This card is so good in this deck. It's unreal how good this card is. It just gives us so much to do. Even if people kill it afterwards or whatever, it doesn't matter. They consider perfect. Always teachings of the archaics. <laughs> and we'll be cagey about what we actually do here. This kind of pressure is always good. It's okay. Another land is fine here. Not really too worried about it. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I almost want to draw cards, but I think we're still going to wait. And I'm going to flash in my adversary. Yeah, this card is just so key. You put pressure on them, you unsummon a bunch of stuff into their hand. They got something. I don't know if it's because of that. Let's see if they counter it. Nope, they don't. We're just going to draw. We're not going to get super fancy here. <laughs> okay, so they counter it. Okay, we'll keep our own counter up. We're gonna go blue here. We're just gonna keep the divide up. And we can strike super hard if they tap out. They're at 11, depending on what they play here. Um, Let's divide that. Go teachings. Okay, we have a fading hope up. Okay, teachings and show of confidence gets us plus four, plus five gets them fairly low, but it's a little bit too risky, I think. So let's just uh, teachings and keep a fading hope up. Okay, good. This deck strikes really hard, but you also have to be fairly patient or you can get yourself into some fair, like quite a bit of trouble. So we're just going to, you know, play carefully. We can unsummon our Clavin Lumomancer. Um, or is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Guiding voice is good. Anyways, two burned down the house is doing that. They're at six mana. They haven't foretold anything, right? And what we're going to do here is we're also going to Storm Chaser Drake. And we're going to Guiding Voice it. And we're going to save an Unsummon here. We go Teachings. Land has been played. And they're going to have to deal with us here. Oh. Maybe land hasn't been played. Almost missed it. Not quite though. They expressive because they are desperate.
I get a divide by zero. Which means they'll probably get another turn, which is kind of a pain. They have four total mana. Um... So we pull it back in. And do they have an unsummon is the question. <laughs> now we can teachings of the archaics. And We have a show of confidence, right? Okay, we're good. <laughs> and now if they had some, don't laugh. Woo! Look out below! Okay, we're on the draw. <laughs> Uh, it's probably okay to keep. It's probably okay to keep. We're on the draw. We get an extra chance at a land here. We can play out a decent amount of our hand. We do get the Storm Chaser Drake, which is nice. They foretell, so you know who it is. It's your favorite. Your favorite superstar is it turns. The expressive. I think we can deal with it as it turns, but we can't deal with it if uh, we can't actually get anything done here uh, for white. I, I mean, <laughs> I'll get there. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's flash it in. Jesus, man. Give me a break right now. <laughs> well, we got four on them. It's not quite enough, but we can deal with eggs and stuff right now, too, if we if we have to. See what they do. They're on turn five. They have a foretold something. Probably, I mean, all runs epiphany. It's all runs epiphany. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. So what do we do? We go clever Lumimancer, probably, right? Or we go Leonin. Probably Leonin, actually. Leonin can pump everybody else up, too. And depending on what they do here, we can definitely get... I mean, we can kill them next turn if they don't do anything. Bring that back. Get to draw some cards, too. Okay. Ooh, some more mana. That's good. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to go Clever Lumimancer, right? Um, I can't do all the things I want to do, though. So what's the best thing to do? I'm going to clever Lumimancer and have a divide up is what I'm going to do. So this is, the, this is the key to this deck. You must be patient with it. You cannot get crazy with it because the key is, you know, making our opponents play out and then just striking like a crazy person. And they do nothing. Good job, people. <laughs> I am going to be extremely patient here, though. I'm just going to Homestead Courage here one time. I could divide it. 
but I'm not going to. Yeah, I think we still keep our divide up here. <laughs> they teachings? Hmm. Do I divide the teachings? One, two, three, four, five. They're still, it means they're still digging, right? No. There we go. There's some more. Uh, we're going to go white. And that is all we are going to do. No, we're going to homestead courage. Eh. I guess I just save it, hey? Five, six. Pass the turn. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, we have a guiding voice. So let's go Homestead Courage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight mana. If I divide, should I divide that? That's the question. Man, this has been a real pain, hasn't it? If I divide it, can I kill them? But they probably just have something else, right? Okay. Still okay. They're going to drop their shields. I'm going to counter. Yeah. Play it back out. Pass the turn. Um, nope. I guess I'm just going to have a teachings around, right? They can still play it and maybe, and maybe stop me. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, they just had it a little too much. We just were awkward on mana and couldn't quite get there. That's okay. That's the game. Yeah, we're not getting there. Not with Hallbreaker out. Okay, we're on the draw. That's fine. Totally fine. See what we're going against here? I've been against a lot, a lot of friggin' is a turns today. So annoying. So annoying. Cause it's just these lot these drawn out games. One person just sits there and does annoying things, right? Like, let's hope they don't have any burn here. And they sit back. I guess we're going to play out one more of these. I guess, yeah, we just unsummon it, right? Fading hope it, whatever. <laughs> See if they have counter spell or something. They don't get the talent. Still don't matter. Whenever you cast. Countering it does not stop it from happening. It was already cast. See ya. 
Bada boom. <laughs> okay, we're on the play. That's a decent hand. Not amazing, but it's good enough, I think. Blood Chief. Hmm. White. We're going to go for it here. Ooh, they get a cleric of life bond. Ooh, that is very good for us right there. That's the turn. Hopefully they don't have anything to deal with it. Just another cleric or something is really good for us. Yes, yes, you're falling right into my trap. Okay, you do what you gotta do there. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. One more mana next turn, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they're tapped out. They're going to be in big trouble here. <clears throat> um, do I keep a divide up here? <laughs> they're tilted. <laughs> um, so what do I do? Do I just uh, get rid of the Cleric of Life's Bond, or I can divide by zero. I, I, uh, I think I'm actually just going to do this. What you going to do when I roll on you? And we'll see what they do next turn here. So they're tilted. You can tell how tilted they are already. <laughs> like they give me a year ago after like one second. If you can't play magic and be happy at least a reasonable amount of the time, you should probably stop playing. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to fading hope it now because they're getting so much life, right? <sighs> nah. Let them have it. I just need one more blue. Hmm, now what do I do? I, do I take it back? I guess I'm gonna get rid of theirs. <clears throat> Keep a couple blockers up. We'll let it die. I got Leer coming up. I gotta divide by zero here. Um, They have two cards in hand. We're just going to kick back here for a second. Let's just bounce it right back in. And we'll go for our teachings here. They destroy it. Okay. They're going to get five on us. We only have one card in hand now. Blue. Um, what do I have here? I have a fading hope. I have a divide by zero. So probably just Leer here. All right. I get a cleric of life's bond. Let's just a uh, fading hope this in back into their hand. They can't recast it though, right? Let's see what else they do. You can always just bounce it here right now anyways. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do this now. Fading hope is fine. <laughs> Good game. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> um, let's go teachings here. Only have one card. I can keep a divide by zero. I can play my clever Lumimancer. I'll sit back here for a minute. Or 
we're going to fading hope this. I don't want the land. Oh, I only have two mana, that's right. Resolve all. I guess I can fading hope it still, right? Another leer? I don't think so. Okay, so let's fading hope. Let's just do start dividing things and start destroying them. <laughs> I'll go teachings again. <laughs> Clever Loom answer is fine. Let's go teachings of the archaics now. I'm just going for it. They only have one extra card in hand. I'm gonna start putting some damage on them here. Yep, they get two things. Okay, let's play a Clever Lumimancer here. I can always bring that in too. Um, what else do I want to bounce here? I can really bounce everything and just put huge pressure on them, right? Take all your cards back. No land. Okay, that's fine. And if I go teachings now, I'll have one mana left to play that and go learn. Let's go get another teachings. What do I have right now? Guiding voice. Go here again. Let's tilt them. Let's tilt them up. <laughs> They're thinking. Okay, let's fading hope. Who? The voice of the blessed? Yeah, we want that, right? Homestead courage goes there. Then we can go grab it with teachings. One, two, three. No, we cannot. We have to go storm chaser here. Right? And then we can show of confidence. Uh, let's put one here. Okay, that's probably enough. One, two, three, four. We can flash in a spectral adversary. <laughs> Let's see if they have a board wipe or something. They just go voice of the blessed. Okay, keep casting your spells. You know what I can just do is pull in a big spectral adversary next turn and just destroy them.
Okay, I get a Leonin. Are they thinking though? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I can phase out. Three of their creatures here. Let's just do three. Auto pay one. Auto pay, yeah. Scoop. They knew it was over. Tilted. So tilted. Wow. The, the deck can just roll like that sometimes. Crazy. Let's see what we got here. This is a fun deck. This is a really fun deck. When it does what it needs to do, super fun. White. Pepper Lumen Answer. Probably the Storm Chaser Drake, maybe? Or maybe Clever Lumimancer again? Um. See what they got here? They got something that's sticking. Let's bring it back. Totally okay. That's card advantage for us. They sunset revelry, no problem. Too worried about that. We just need to actually draw something besides lands right now. No attacks. Yeah, like six lands out of ten cards. Come on now. It's a bad start. And they get two of their faithful absences out of four. Perfect. I'm almost not that unhappy right now. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and you do that. Draw me some cards here. Uh, we have a Homestead Courage. Let's draw some cards. Draw some more cards. They do nothing. And let's also guiding voice here and learn. Let's get a teachings. We got plenty of land here. This is normally like playing this magecraft type of build. If you play like white green or something, it feels like it's quite risky. But it's less risky this way because you're drawing cards with the storm chaser because you're able to get to teachings of the archaics and refill your hand and stuff like that because you're able to save your creatures with unsummon because you have Leer right to fill up your gas tank when you need it. They only have three cards. They haven't been able to dig. They're in big trouble here if they don't have a memory deluge or something. Um, okay, so. I guess we just go Storm Chaser and Leonin. See if they counter it. They do, that's okay. And try and get down to less cards, yeah. Okay, sure. They're probably gonna end up regretting that as well. Um. I can get four damage in right now. I don't have any other creatures to play next turn, so let's do that. Try and put some damage out there. They have two cards in hand. And once we get Leer going, look out. They do have a counter spell still though. So, do I go for it here? I want to see what they do here. Because a counterspell on Leer is a pretty big deal right now, right? Do they have a Doom Scar? I can protect my Leer against a Doom Scar. But they have foretold. Are they just sitting on counter spells? I don't want to wait, you know? I can put pretty big damage out next turn anyways. I can always pay, play teachings even if 
Yeah, they faithful mending. They're going to have to get pretty desperate here, right? I don't want to I don't want to push it and get countered and then not be able to be and then not be able to close the deal. They threw away a sunset revelry. They got to be looking for a doom scar here, right? And they get nothing. Okay. So teachings doesn't help. Lear could actually close the deal, right? So it's very close. They went digging, which means they didn't have an answer right now. I'm going for it. See if they got a counter spell. If not, we can still flash in our spectral adversary. Okay, they have it. There you go. They only have, they don't have much to work with though. This doesn't help them actually get cards. And unless they have a Doom Scar in there. They wouldn't have, they wouldn't have. Yeah, maybe they would have. Let's flash this in. Put some more damage on board. And get lower on cards here. Um, yeah, we just teachings first here. Good combo. They're going to Faithful Mending in response. Oh, they Fading Hope, the lean in. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five mana left. We can play out Storm Chaser. Seven damage on board. What's better? Probably just one Leon in here, right? And if we only we had one more spell. One more spell. <laughs> okay. Draw two cards and disc two, then discard two cards. Okay. We're gonna go back out with our clever Lumamancer here. Keep a Storm Chaser Drake, just in case they do top deck a Doomsgar. <laughs> and I get a land. Nice. Five, nine lands out of 41 cards. I'm going to do my own and draw a card. <clears throat> I ain't waiting around. Now let's draw some more cards. Jesus, with the land right now, Shuffler. Come on. <laughs> You're killing me right now. Good lord. Let's hold. I'm holding this just, just because. Make them, make them think about what they're doing. They mending. They probably have a land there that they're going to dump. Is that like every flipping fading hope? <laughs> Come on, man. Counters and fading hopes. It's all you need. It's the only thing you need. Um, yeah, still not helpful, but we still have to play this right now. They're not gonna, they have no haste or anything. It doesn't matter. Come on. I deserve, oh, come on. A top deck's that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
just unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, they were at 14 cards at the time, right? Total. They top decked two Doom Scars when they needed them. Yeah, that's not very good. Like, with the land, 10 lands, come on. <laughs> Friggin' faithful mending. The top deck Doomscar. When they had like no card draw almost, and they were just sitting there. One more turn. I just crashed this game. Now they just get to dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. They have no protection, but they still have more faithful mendings to just, you know, start. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's okay. If I can just get another spell in a Leon in, I can strike really hard out of nowhere. You and target opponent each draw a card. I think that's actually advantage me right now. Although that helps them use their faithful mending. And we're going to wait to attack. We don't want to draw a card yet. I shouldn't say we don't want to draw a card. We do want to draw a card, but... <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> okay. They have a Faithful Mending, but we can't really do a lot right now either. I think I would rather just not do anything. If I can just, you know, get a couple spells going, bang, I unsummon, I attack. Good things happen. What a game. <laughs> the friggin' top deck Doom Scars. Okay. Um, so we attack, right? We do some damage, but we don't do enough. It's not really good to wait here against this deck either, but... I mean, I can't really do what I need to do. They get a Morden Kane, Kate. Okay. You're wasting your time if you think you can win. I'm starting to feel like that, actually. Okay, we have a divide. So I think I can kill them right now, right? So I divide, I get plus three, plus three. I play a couple of these, right? We get to copy it. And I get to learn. So three, one, six, ten mana. So... Right? Plus three, plus three. Then, I actually want expanded anatomy. And we are going off! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, how about another show of confidence? Boom! Pulls it off against Azorius Control. Shields are down. How is that? How is that for a 2020? Boom!